Captain's log, stardate 4326.5. The Enterprise has passed through the mysterious Estrogena 7 anomaly. I can't help but feel that something is very, very wrong. Yes, Captain? Spock, I have a hunch that something has happened to us. <laughs> Kirk to sick bay. McCoy here. Bones, I need you on the bridge. Now? Jim, I have a roast in the oven. <laughs> Bones? Oh, all right. Captain, nothing appears to be wrong. I show all systems functioning at optimum levels. That's... from stem to stern and me little beams are working perfectly. Oh, but you've got to come do to engineer and take a wee look. What? We've redone the whole place. I put a paisley wallpaper. Daddy, stop. Heather everywhere. Oh, oh you look at me. Oh, hold up yourself. You, you, I'm sorry. <laughs> come, come, I think I need a scotch. Maybe a white wine. Maybe a spritzer. I feel hot tonight. What is it, Jim? Oh, don't I, I think there's something wrong with me. Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a... Well, I guess I am a doctor. Come on, let's have a look. That's odd. Swollen ankles, slight bloating, salt craving. I'm not bloated. Extreme irritability. Jim, I'm stumped. Someone on this ship must have some answers. Uhura. Yeah. Uhura, have you made contact with Starfleet Command? Oh, I, uh, I forgot. You forgot? You forgot? Yeah, I forgot, I so. One simple thing oh, to do. I'm gonna make a Federation card here. Yeah. Stop it, you two! Stop it! Stop it! It's just all too much. I can't stand this constant bickering. <laughs> oh my God! Somebody help me! Captain. Vulcan logic has been overwhelmed by a flood of powerful and conflicting emotions. Spock, I'm... I'm sure there's something wrong with us. With... with me. Spock, use the Vulcan mind meld. Of course, Captain. Our minds are becoming one. Your thoughts are my thoughts. Strange. A flood of unusual images. Low-fat yogurt. Fabulous shoe sales. And something else. Spock, I have breasts. Captain. So do I. Would you do that one more time? Certainly, Captain. <laughs> Great Jim, take a gander at these puppies. Talk about where no man has gone before, huh? You won't believe what I got. Wait, fuck. I think I know what it is. All the men on this ship have been changed into women. Some more attractive than others, of course, but women. Except for you. Look, Spock, take over the bridge. I think I have to go to the ladies' room. You're going. I'm going to come along, too. Let's all go. <laughs> Get the Klingon medals for their approaching as warp four. Take evasive action. <laughs> the drive like a man. 
Maniac! Captain, command the Colos to the Klingon vessel assailing us. Colos, damn. This is what I was wearing the last time he attacked me. <laughs> On screen, Lieutenant. So, Captain Kirk? Commander Colos, my old adversary. You know, you have the most incredible brown eyes. I won't fall for your clever tricks, Kirk. We will attack in three of your Earth minutes. Chekhov, change course to 46.3 Mark 8. But, Captain, that will force the Klingons through the Estrogena 7 anomaly. Exactly. Captain, call up the sailing. Very well. Lieutenant, on screen. <laughs> I may have been too hasty about this. Instead of all of this war thing, why don't the two of us get together, maybe take an aerobics class, get some cappuccino? Hold on. I think what's happened to us may usher in a new age. Now as women, perhaps our peoples can settle differences with dialogue and compassion instead of resorting to violence. Together, we can truly make a galaxy a kinder, gentler place. Kirk out. <laughs> Did you see what she was wearing? <laughs>